What's the story with cat's claw, otherwise popularly known as Uncaria, or you may also know it as Uno de Gato, right? So this is an herb that um, in the West, there's two typical varieties, and they all hail originally from the Peruvian and um, uh, pre-Pan American basin, very big in Inca tradition and medicine and healing. There's Uncaria tomentosa, tomentosa, forgive me. That is the variety that's most commonly used in the United States. And there's Uncaria guianensis. That is the type that's most typically used in Europe. Both, again, all coming out of that Pan American basin. Now, in traditional Chinese medicine, Uncaria gambir is the variety most typically used. The varieties are very similar in many ways. They're all considered from a TCM perspective to um, extinguish what's known as wind. Those are conditions that can be external, give you the aches and pains that move around when you're catching a cold or viral infection, uh, or cause neuropathies from like diabetes, numbness, things like that. Um, uh, alleviate spasms, they uh, release to the exterior, relieve heat, right? So all the cat's claws will have that kind of uh, similar difference is that in the Western varieties, um, it's going to be bitter and cold, and the traditional Chinese medicine variety is going to be a little bit sweet, bitter, and cooling, so not as intense, a little bit more nutritive. Um, Cat's claw, besides being great for just common colds and flus, is also extraordinary for treating cancer and AIDS. And this is big time mojo, right? Healing mojo. It's because it's a really powerful antiviral. Um, and it's also just great with conditions that relate to inflammation. So it's been used in conjunction with treatments for cancer and AIDS. Uh, it contains compounds known as oxindole alkaloids, and these have been found um, to be really effective and in some cases even critical for the treating of these kinds of ailments. Um, cat's claw also inhibits uh, the activation of what's known as nuclear factor kappa beta, right? And that's an inflammatory trigger. Right? It's a switch. So it's often associated with cancer and other deadly diseases. So you don't want that switch getting triggered. Cat's claw can kind of come in and help keep your system strong underneath it. DNA can become really vulnerable during, um, you know, free radicals. So if you've got cancer or these other kinds of big uh, kind of chronic ailments, and uh, those that disruption of the DNA can go on to cause cancer and the very treatments of cancer, chemotherapy, radiation, uh, can damage healthy DNA in other cells, so you can get this kind of double whammy. So this, again, is an herb that is very commonly now drawn into um, healthcare protocols for people with these diseases. Um, they did a study and found that water-soluble cat's claw extract that was used for like eight weeks after chemotherapy, there was a marked decrease in DNA damage and an increase in DNA repair. So that's really a big, big important factor for recovery from such kinds of illnesses and their uh, intense treatments. Cat's claw is also known for supporting normal cell division, so as opposed to mutations, and also improving your white blood cell count, further improving your immune system as a whole. So there's been a lot of study done on this herb. It has a lot of applications. I think you want to know more about it and be considering having uh, it on hand, and certainly if you're dealing with some of these you know, more deadly uh, ailments. But it's just good for the common cold and flu, and we now know how uh, disruptive viral infections can be. So have a question or comment, please leave it below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't hesitate to visit our website at whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com to find out more about this amazing herb.